Hello, and welcome to our daily Lenten devotional prayer time. My name is Reverend Catherine Foster, and I am the interim associate pastor for pastoral care at First Presbyterian Allentown. Welcome to this time. This is March 28th, it should be, for um, this time in Holy Week, and that will would be Monday, Thursday, uh, the Thursday of Holy Week. We are getting through our week of Lent, Easter soon to come. Anyway, welcome. I've been asked to talk about the phrase, prone to leave the God I love. We have been in a ser- using a series that uses the song, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, that has this line in it. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. So I've been asked to talk about this line, prone to leave the God I love. You know, when you think about those words, um, when I think about them, I think, you know, they're kind of heart-wrenching. Why would anyone want to leave the God they love? Why would want to, anyone want to leave anyone they love? Um, well, you know, it doesn't always work out that great with people, even that we love, right? Sometimes we feel abandoned. Uh, Sometimes we feel abandoned by God. And when we feel abandoned by God, I guess we just want to abandon too. So that's one way that might happen. But the other would be kind of like we're looking out at the world and we're going, oh, that looks fun. Uh, That looks like a good thing to do. Maybe I'll do that. Not really thinking a whole lot about... Uh, you know, whether or not it's God's plan or whether it's in God's rules, whether it's a good thing to do or a bad thing to do, we just think, oh, you know, that seems like a good thing to do, so we do it, right? And then we find out later on that it wasn't such a good thing to do. We knew kind of deep down it wasn't, but we don't always know how things are going to turn out, so we try it. And then we find out, like Pinocchio did with Pleasure Island, yeah, that wasn't such a good idea. But we are prone to this, aren't we? Since we can't really, don't, nobody has a crystal ball. Nobody knows what's really going to happen. When I think about this um, phrase, I think about what Jesus said to his disciples in John chapter 6, the Gospel of John chapter 6, where Jesus said some very confusing things to the crowd and other disciples that were with him. And it says many people at that point left him, left, didn't follow him anymore. And he says to his disciples, the 12 of them that were with him all the time, he says, are, are you going to leave me too? Do you want to leave me too? And Simon Peter, one of the main people that we hear about in the scripture, Peter, the apostle Peter, he says, yeah, where are we going to go? Where are we gonna, to, to whom will we go? Lord, you are the one that has the words of eternal life. We have come to know and to, to learn that you are the one who can basically govern eternal life. He had shown them how wonderful, Jesus had shown them how wonderful he could be. And so Peter was like, well, where are we going to go? You know, Maybe we're going to go to people. Do you have people in your life that you can trust 100%? Do you have people in your life that can tell you about eternity, uh, your soul, there for you all the time? I don't know. If you do, you have somebody you can go to all the time that's always there for you and always willing to sacrifice for you and do things for you. You are blessed. And if more, you have more than one, great. But even those people, as you get older, yeah, they can't always be there for you. So trusting in people is good and wonderful and lo- it's, if it's loving, but they can't stay always for you. Jesus is the one who has the words of eternal life. Jesus and God are the ones who really know who we are, who our souls are, who we can be. And so where are we going to go? To leave the God I love? Doesn't seem very smart. Wasn't that smart for Simon Peter either. I mean, I know people can disappoint you, but to leave the God I love? Hmm. Who else can carry me through times of betrayal? and heartache, and they do come. So when I'm tempted to leave God, is grows dimmer and dimmer, dimmer and dimmer all the time in my life. 
I hope it does for you too. Shall we pray? Dear God, thank you for sending us your son, the bread of life, so that we may know who we are as eternal souls. Jesus came to tell us that our flesh is temporary, but our spirits, our spirits are eternal. Help us to know that your words bring us into that knowledge and that eternity, and that finally we are safe with you. Help us not to leave the, gods we, the God we love. Help us all to know you, and if we stray, bring us back so we may never leave you again. In your Christ we pray. Amen. Have a good week. The good stuff's coming.